Hey guys, D Mike here, coming at you with another new series. Minecraft is a game that I'm sure a couple people have played in the past. It's starting to become kind of popular, and I kind of wanted to be on the cusp of trendiness for once and kind of hitch my wagon to the potential incoming fame that Minecraft is going to surge into the gaming market. I know that it's it's an up and comer, and so it's pretty exciting to think about a game like this having the chance to to really make its mark in 2021. So a heads up, I've never played. I don't have any experience with Minecraft. I don't really know anything about it. I've seen a little bit about the game itself. I've kind of given myself a little bit of time to research and kind of figure out the controls. I played around with it briefly, but in general, don't really know much about it. So this is going to be very much a blind playthrough. It's going to be a trial and error, a lot of exploration, and it's going to be up to you viewers to kind of guide me through the process of what you would like to see and maybe potentially find yourself screaming through your computer screens with my ineptitude at Minecraft. So if you've ever wanted to watch a millennial stumble his way through a game that you might love and care for and potentially feel like it's ruining it to pieces, uh, I'm your guy. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I don't know what a lot of this additional fluff is with the game that the Minecraft creators have made. Like I said, I'm pretty new to this game and the franchise, so I'm just going to keep it OG. So we've got a world here, my world, and I think we're just going to go standard. Survival mode is what I've kind of thought I would have the most fun with. I know that a lot of people enjoy the creative function where it's kind of like a, a Lego game where you can play around and build stuff freely without having to acquire any sort of resources, but that's not really what I'm after, not what intrigues me about Minecraft. I kind of like the mining and crafting side of things, which I feel will have to run in tandem. So we're going to go ahead and do survival mode. And we're going to stick with normal difficulty because I'm a loser and I don't know what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be quite the experience. Okay, so here we are, everybody. Welcome to my world. I'd say our world. This is this is for all of us. It looks like uh, we've got ourselves a nice little wooded area. There's some sort of an island over there that looks pretty interesting. There is some hills, some trees, some animal life. One of the things I think about Minecraft that I find intriguing is that being a sandbox game is you can really play it however you want to. You can make of it whatever you want to. Pretty interesting. But I don't really know what I'm going to do with this. I'm not really entirely sure what I can do with this yet. All I'm really sure of right now is that I've got an empty inventory here and I've got some plenty of trees around here. I'm assuming that I can interact with most stuff here. I think kind of punching around will do some Harvesting of, of grass, I'm assuming. I don't really know if I need that, but maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll pick some flowers. Flowers are nice. Everybody likes flowers. If you don't like flowers, then you're no friend of mine. So it looks like we can kind of scroll through here, punch stuff, and pick it up. Now, this sounds like a sheep or a goat. I don't really like the way it's looking at me. So uh, take that, PETA. You get what looks like a cube of something. Uh, I'm assuming maybe wool? Raw mutton, okay. Well, it looks like if we scroll through, okay. If I scroll through my inventory with my squirrel wheel, it gives me a an indicator of what that is. That's really helpful for a new player, for a noob millennial like myself who has no clue what he's doing. I figure that one of the basic things in this game that you're gonna wanna do is craft. So trying to acquire some supplies would probably be good. Maybe we'll 
punch some trees. I know that's kind of a meme. I've seen that. I don't quite understand what it means. I'm assuming it's just very literal. Punching trees gives you the raw materials here to, to eventually build something. It's kind of a... It's kind of like an, an Asmer sound of... That sound effect of the tree punching. I kind of like that. So we've got five oak logs. That sounds good. I don't know if that's a good amount. I don't know how many I'm going to need. But I don't know if I can build something with that. What if I hit... Okay, so Q on your keyboard lets you throw something. That's neat. But this is our inventory. Now, I have heard from some people that Minecraft has kind of changed over the years. They've tried to make the game more user-friendly, improving the interfaces and the way that you do things, which is really cool. I imagine the bare bones game was a little bit tough. You had to kind of know the recipes for things like, you know, you've got spaces here to, to build, I'm assuming. But back in the day, oh, and there's achievements. So I've got wood, everybody. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't even know that those were a thing. That's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, when you would have this stuff. Now it just kind of does it for you which is is pretty cool i'm assuming that's really helpful for like a for younger players and it gives them you know it, it it just improves the process a little bit not having to think too much about you know how to build stuff and whatnot i think that that's a little it's a little complicated with the way i feel about it because i enjoy the idea of having to figure stuff out i enjoy the the uh, ability to punch uh, wildlife whenever they're looking at just strange. That's right, take that. You big jerk. You got a feather and some chicken. That's great. I'm going to wind up on a list. One of the things that I think is fun about gaming is that you have to... Good game design is, is basically built on the premise of giving the player an inch and then they have to take it a mile. They're the ones that have to figure stuff out. They're the ones that have to go and explore and figure out how mechanics work. Because without that, the game is either too complicated or it holds your hand too much. Now, games in 2021 have started to kind of follow more of a trend of making things more user-friendly, which I think is cool. Quality of life improvements to attract younger generations of players. I mean, the level of entry for games a long time ago used to be a lot higher. And so people would, you know, maybe be scared to try it or they would be, you know, there'd be some gatekeeping in the way that would prevent them from wanting to even try, which is unfortunate. I think everybody, games are for everybody. So, Okay, so these these achievements, I didn't know these were going to pop up, but they're going to apparently. So enjoy that, everybody. I'm going to do a little cave exploration here. This seems kind of dangerous to do on my first day. I don't really have a way to protect myself yet. Um, haven't really given myself the chance to pick up any sort of armor. I think is that I don't know if that's how that works. I don't know if you like build your armor or if like you can win it. Maybe you can. Maybe you can find resources that help you to build a set of armor. I don't know. But I don't have that yet, so I'm kind of naked to the world. Not really uh, a good idea yet, but we'll come back to that. One of the things that I think I should do, though, is I remember... Because, I, like I said, I my, my knowledge of this is, is very minimal. I remember hearing from somebody once that the crafting you can do on your own is for like small things like popping back into the inventory list again with my oak planks meant for construction see they really like they've really boiled it down on the left side here on the craftable side i can make some stuff i can make some blue dye from those plants i can make some sticks a crafting table a button and some pressure plates i don't know what any of that is but i think i've been told that this crafting table is pretty important so let's go ahead and make one of those it's pretty amazing that the game itself 
kind of set that up in a way that you don't really have to think about it. It just kind of does it for you. It's almost automated in a way, which is neat. I think some sticks would be good too. Pick up some of those. I, I'm just really impressed with how how fluid things kind of feel with a game like this. I imagine that it's a lot easier to kind of run and gun your way through a Minecraft server world than it, than it was maybe when this game first came out in the original builds of it. So that's pretty cool. So let's take that crafting table that we just made and let's see what happens when we do something with it. I don't know if there's like a good place to put it, but um, how about right there? That sounds good. That looks great, right? Yeah. OK, so now that we've got sticks, we've got some planks. It kind of opens up the options for things we can make, which is pretty cool. I'll have to figure out what these things do eventually, but I feel like having some assortment of these items would be good. It looks like uh, some weapons here, maybe some tools. We can make a sword, we can make an axe, a pickaxe, shovels, hose. Everybody loves hose. So let's make a sword. That's a good one. Let's, we gotta be able to defend ourselves, guys. Let's make an axe. I feel like that would probably make the punching trees thing easier. Or maybe we don't, it'll make it outdated. We don't have to do anymore. Maybe a pickaxe. I'm assuming this would be pretty useful for something like trying to gather up some uh, some bricks or something like that. It's usually what pickaxes are used for in the world of common sense. So nice. That's pretty good. The one thing I don't love is that, and I don't know if I'm just doing this wrong, is that you have to kind of collect stuff individually to, to put it back. So that's a little awkward. But like I said, I could be just fumbling it completely not knowing what I'm doing. Let's move some stuff back into the upper inventory here. Okay, great. You're a little you're a little behind the times here, game. It appears as though there's oh. Okay. Well, it looks like there's more weapons we can make. That's kind of a spoiler. I don't really know how I feel about that. Would have preferred to figure this out on my own, but that's fine. It looks like when we acquire other items of different quantities that it gives us the ability to make better weapons. So now we've got a sword. I feel like the first thing that you should do definitely when you make yourself a weapon is kill this, the nearest thing you can find. In this case, there seems to be a pretty big abundance of beef. All right, so we're making some progress here. Uh, it looks like the sun's going down and I feel like maybe we'll be in for some trouble if we don't take care of that. Maybe we'll make ourselves a place for the night. This area seems pretty well lit though for being underground. I guess there is a little bit of daylight here. I don't, I mean, I feel like if you're in a cave, you're probably safe, right? Like, that's not a big deal. Well, this kind of looks like some, uh, some Parmesan cheese. What was that? That sounded like a mouse. So let's see what happens. So we got some bricks here. What happens if we... Okay. So using that pickaxe that we made, you can kind of chop down some of these, some of these bricks. It gives us cobblestone. Okay. That's neat. So maybe that'll let us build a, a little shelter once we get the chance, but... This looks kind of neat. I want to get some of this, whatever this is. Oh. Okay. Maybe not. The speckled cheddar, white cheddar turned into... Oh, wait, here it is. It is a sandstone. Okay, that's cool. Makes me think of sandstorm. You know, everybody's favorite Darude classic. And then this looks a little different. So let's see what this gets us. That looks like some sort of a pebble. Coal. Assuming that's probably good for maybe cooking or setting some stuff on fire. 
a little casual casual arson. So let's go ahead and pick up some of this. I'm assuming this coal that we are getting is good for us because we're getting little jingle jangles. I don't know. That little bar above our items is filling up with these warbs. So I guess that maybe that's like a life bar, an experience bar. It's kind of the vibe I'm getting. I don't really know how the experience situation works in this game, but we're going to figure it out. I'm assuming more is, is better. Looks like there's some sort of... Is this related to this? I don't... Can we, di can we dig this up? Can we do this? Looks like it's working a little bit. It's a little slower though. Oh. Wait a second. Where'd the... Where'd the brick go? Huh. Well, it appears as though trying to grab whatever that was, that dusty brick with our pickaxe didn't work. That's unfortunate. Well, I guess we'll have to come back to that again. Maybe maybe you can't use the, the wood one. Maybe the wood one isn't, isn't meant for that. I don't know. So let's pop into the old inventory for just a second and see what this coal is all about. It looks like we've got something. Hold on. We got something new here. We can make a lever, some buttons, nah. A torch, okay, neat. What do we need to make a torch? You need some coal and a stick. Okay, let's do that. Let's make let's make some torches. It is getting a little dark, and I am pretty afraid of life without a nightlight. So let's see what happens when we. Oh, we gotta put it in the inventory first. That would help, right? Let's do that. See what happens when we throw a torch down. But I can still see. It still seems pretty light out here. So let's make a little walkway here. Don't want to fall. Let's see what happens if we head downward. Oh, there's more of that. Whatever this stuff is. Oh, it's oh. That looks like some hot lava. All right, so let's be careful here. We don't wanna, can we dig around? Can we dig around it? What, what are these? This looks like mud. Is this, what, what was that? We got dirt, okay. Simple enough. Dirty girl. Let's move around here. Okay, let's avoid that lava. Don't want to get stuck in that. It's a pretty cool looking texture. It's kind of oozing out. A little ooze. And I still hear like some sort of a bat or a... Oh. That was spooky. I don't know what that sound was, but uh, okay. Let's go ahead and pop a torch in here. Oh, that's much better. Look at that. We're feeling brave though. Should we keep going? I think we should keep going. This stuff over here looks a little different. There was that dirt from the first lava room that we picked up. What's this? This is granite. Don't take playing games for granite, everybody. Oh, got him. What on earth? So my torch, when I put it on whatever that brick was, this little speckled brick, it knocked it all down. That's a little strange. Huh. Well, what are these? This is all about trial and... and I don't even know what that is. Andesite? That sounds made up. How are you doing... How are you playing a game where people are just going to be throwing made up stuff when I'm trying to enjoy the reality of my situation. That's why you play games, right? You want to live a, a more real world than you're already in. So it looks like there's quite a bit of coal here. Maybe we'll grab a little bit. I'm assuming that maybe in the future this coal could be used. I'm assuming you can maybe cook 
we're getting some raw meat here. We have the beef and then there's the chicken and the the lamb chops. So we should be able to use that to to maybe eat. I, I think that these weird little uh, bloody shish kebabs on the right side of our screen are going to come into importance at some point. There's hearts here too, so we got to... If this is like a true survival game, then I'm assuming that you'll probably have to keep your, your belly full or else you'll be in trouble. Pickaxe is looking a little broken down, so maybe we'll be careful with it. I don't know if people dislike when somebody plays a game and they use the wrong item for digging. I don't know what the proper item is. I guess there's probably like a time and a place for the pickaxe and the axe itself and then the sword, but I mean like, I guess I'll figure it out. It seems like the pickaxe is kind of the quickest thing to to mine around, that's nice. But this cave doesn't really seem to be doing me too many favors. Uh, explore, oh. That doesn't, that doesn't look very friendly. Whatever that is, that does not inspire much confidence in its swimming. There's some sort of underwater, uh, I'm getting kind of creeped out here. Oh, no, 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 I don't know you. I do not excuse you. Stay away from me, sir or madam. Uh, oh, oh, nope, do not like spiders. Do not like spiders. Let's go for a swim here. I am not a fan of what I'm seeing. Over there. Yeah, that's right. You stay over there. You stay way over there. There are people scuba diving down here. Some scuba diving going on in underwater. That looks like fun. How do you guys feel about swimming? How, do we like swimming? Do we like hitting up the beach? Enjoying the waves? It doesn't look like we can go underwater for very long. Seems kind of risky. I don't know. Whatever this little area is. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and there's a current. Oh, I'm getting sucked in. Oh, swim, Steve. This area seems pretty cool. I'm thinking one of the things I'd like to do eventually is, you know, once I kind of get the hang of what I'm doing and understand kind of the mechanics a little bit better. Oh, this looks like ice. Is that what this is? Something blue raspberry. Makes me think of like a, oh, it sounded like ice. An underwater ruin. Go me. See, I don't know what any of this means. So if this is great, then I'm doing awesome. But if it's not, then I'm just screwing it up. We'll find out. What I'd like to do eventually is to kind of build stuff and maybe make myself kind of a, a homestead, a place to, to keep it real. I've seen, you know, some pictures before of people that get really creative and they kind of recreate like real world places, which is cool. I like the idea of building myself a, some sort of a hut or, you know, a house. That sounds like fun. I am open to suggestions if anybody wants to hit me up with those. Scale the top of this mountain here. And we'll take a look at our situation here and figure out where we're at. Trying to get a good view of our surroundings. Let's just go ahead and let's jump and click and jump and click. And use whatever this stuff is. I'm assuming you can just kind of build with anything you have. That seems to be kind of the case here. That's a nice touch. Keep climbing. I'd like to get to the top of this little mountainous area we're at now and take a peek around and then maybe we'll call it a day. Don't want to get too wild with it. Okay, so let's 
Survey our surroundings here. This looks pretty cool. Surrounded by water on all sides. This little island is neat. Maybe this is kind of where we'll make our home base and we'll build some stuff. There's looks like some, some red trees over there, maybe. Something on fire. I don't know. There's a little island over here, too. Kind of get Animal Crossing vibes. Some stuff way in the distance that we haven't quite explored yet. But this seems a like a pretty nice, big enough area that a home base would be cool. It's kind of gray, but... That's okay. We'll make the most of it. This has been pretty fun. I, I think I'm going to like this. I think we're going to have a good time playing Minecraft, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully it was chill for you. Hopefully you're not too infuriated by me not knowing what to do. I'll figure it out, and I'll definitely be in good hands with you guys along for the ride. So thanks for watching, everybody. This has been D-Mike. I'll see you later. Bye.